the unveiling of what should be Mehmet the Second or Mehmet the Magnificent. I don't know why there is a a confusion about this name. Uh, it shouldn't be Muhammad. Um, historical name is Mehmet the Second, the first person to conquer Constantinople back then, which is today Istanbul. Um, very well-known historical figure. I believe his father was Murad who had previously tried to uh, take Constantinople but failed. Um, yeah, so his son was successful and it is one of the glorious victories for the Ottoman Empire in their history. A long history of 300 years of domination. Um, so yeah, I just don't know where the confusion is coming from, where they got the name from, but it definitely isn't Muhammad II. We know that for sure. I believe this character is rushed. The quotes attributed to him are inaccurate as well. Um, we don't have any audio. Uh, I do believe they can refine a few things on him as well. So yeah. Um, it's quite unusual for them to rush a character like this. I don't believe I've seen one without sound or audio. Um, I'm sure they will get it fixed. But that name is definitely going to have to change. A line will be line, you a sin will be sin. Look at the difference between this. That is glorious. It looks absolutely stunning. And then when we go to this guy, it is a little bit plain. The animation is pretty good. I will say it does need a bit refining. The audio does make a lot of difference. Just imagine watching a movie without audio. Um, it's not going to be the same, obviously. But let's get this guy summoned. Again, no audio. That is pretty cool. I like that, grabbing the eagle and putting it to his sword. That is accurate. Um, by the end of the reign, it's Mehmet II <laughs> was known as master of the two lands and the two seas, and through a series of conquests, he gradually formed the vast Ottoman Empire. Well, if you want to look at a geograph uh, geography, um, Istanbul is the only city in the world which is situated in two continents, Europe and Asia. Um, so that separates it. It's still revered as much today as it was back then. There he is. There you can see his base stats. Let's go ahead and get my reward. There he is. Coming soon. <laughs> I was going to say. That guy's coming soon. 
Okay, there he is. Got his hand out. Um, it's looked like he's about to attack the guy in front of him. Everyone else is like sitting at the table watching um, the arm wrestle with great anticipation and excitement. And we have this character just coming out of nowhere. He's got his hand out. Look at the expression on his face. He's about to attack the guy in front of him. He's angry. So we do have like a conflict. <laughs> Oh, excuse me for the hiccups. A conflicting story here. But it is quite interesting nonetheless. The guy to the left, Arash. <laughs> I've got the hiccups. Wow. He looks like he's just got pure shock on his face, I don't know why, maybe he's, um, not shock, it's more surprise, isn't it, he's surprised, or is it, I think it could be, yeah, surprise, just something that suddenly happened to him, is it, a, I think it's a surprise look more, it was a surprise, and taken aback by the glorious victory by Zenobia over Alexander. Oh, it's not. It's this guy here. It's Charles. That could be why he's, you know, got that expression on his face. Again. My problem with introducing characters when we are going through this level up process Gold is a huge issue at the moment Most I would say almost everybody is looking to um, Get their three squads to boost level 25 before they even maybe consider adding another immortal this is going to take a long time we do have the new talk skills as well and other new stuff coming in the special attributes uh the special artifacts sorry that requires a lot of gold as well um are we going to get something else to increase our gold intake sure we can level up um, the, the dwellings to 50 when we do reach that stage, but that's not even going to make that much of a difference. Sure, it's going to boost the storage, but as in terms of production boost, it's not that much of a big boost. Well, not enough anyway to justify what we're going to be spending boosting our models. And keep in mind, when we are boosting our immortals, we still have our dragons to consider. And they are crazy expensive to upgrade. We are talking 47 million gold for level 43. I can't even fathom to think what it's going to be for level 49 to 50. Um... So yeah, boost level 25, three squads, and then the dragons. And then maybe consider boosting the immortals. But what I can do with this guy... Where did he go? There he is. We can do this. Oh yeah, what I wanted to do as well, um, I don't know why I don't have that. I've resurrected like four immortals, or three. I 
should have that, but I don't. Anyway, um, I was led to believe he's not going to be in the market once we open him. Uh, unlock him, sorry. Let's have a look here and see if we can see him. Anyone? It doesn't seem to be that way, which is unfortunate. Wow. So packs only and Hall of Immortals. That is quite astonishing, really. I would have expected him to be in here. Um, I don't know why they have opted for that. It does surprise me. Um, okay. Well, he's not in there, but he is in the Hall of Immortals. And you can only get his fragments and it's 0.06% and wow so and you have to consider that percentage when we talk about there is a 9.92% chance of obtaining a fragment and then you have to take into account out of that 9.92% you have a 0.0% six percent chance of getting his fragment so mathematically that is crazy that is crazy i have spent like 600 stones trying to get his fragments uh, i was unsuccessful so we will be relying on packs all right as always take care of yourself and take care of each other bye